Streets might have been better today. Traffic lights weren't not out, just not visible under the snow and ice. There are firefighters out using high pressure hoses to clean them off today. Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez went along and Jordan, the switch over to LED lights is part of this issue. Yeah, Kyle, we're told that they just don't get as warm as the lights that used to be used. Here's actually a really good example of what so many of those lights looked like yesterday. In some again, of course, today we are downtown at the intersection of Broadway and Cedar and lights like these are what crews were having to clean up today. Engine 42. It was a very busy day for South Metro Fire Rescue crews. Roads not nearly as covered in snow as the day before. But the street lights needed some help. I can't see that red. Wednesday strong winds combined with the snow quickly covered lights and confused drivers. The crew here at Station 42 saw a crash at every intersection along the way down, which is exactly why it was so important for them to come out and spray those off. Other areas saw similar problems like these instances from Broomfield Police and West Metro Fire Rescue. We do run into this problem of People not paying attention on what's going on in front of them. Sergeant Chad Corota with Denver Police's Traffic Investigations Unit says when lights aren't visible, road safety depends on drivers. In the instance where you can't see what signal color is, is, is flashing or, or present at the time, you should treat it as a, a non-functioning traffic signal. Stop at the intersection, make sure it's clear to go forward. Denver Public Works says they've been looking for ways to prevent the snow buildup on lights for years, including visors over the lights and ways to heat them, but they say they haven't found the right solution just yet. So if lights are out or they're just not visible like these, this is when you treat them like that four way stop. Going back to driver's ed, if all four drivers show up at the same time, then guys, of course, again, it is the driver to your right that gets to go first. And again, it's still advised that you kind of keep a light foot on that accelerator as you go through. Got to be a little cautious, Kyle. Yeah, just because you can see the light doesn't mean somebody else can on the other side of the intersection. All right. Thank you, Jordan.